Hi friends, welcome back to All in the Law and this is a quick OBGYN and today I'm going to talk about asymptomatic asymptomatic bacteria I'm talking about in a, what you call it, in a pregnant lady the pregnancy okay this is a most common UTI remember it's the most common UTI in pregnancy in pregnancy it is the most common UTI in pregnancy okay so what are the clinical findings clinical features of this no sign and symptoms the patient will be normal almost no sign and symptoms no sign of any UTI like burning micturation, increased frequency of a micturation, pain, abdominal pain or a pelvic pain, fever, nothing like that, okay? Right. Um, right? That's it. So what's a diagnosis? How do you diagnose or what's well, usually in the routine diagnosis we find, okay? This will be uh, made with what you call positive urine culture showing uh, 100,000 100, colony forming units of single organisms. Okay, and uh, how do you treat it? Is a single agent outpatient oral antibiotics? Remember, we give antibiotics though the patient is asymptomatic, and we are giving the antibiotics. Why? Because to prevent the acute pelonephritis. Acute pelonephritis. Remember, this is really very important because if not treated, 30% of the pregnant lady can develop this uh, acute pelonephritis. That's why we give. Uh, single agent outpatient oral antibiotics okay so once a tried for this is no frequency no urgency no clinical features no fever and urine culture is positive so how do you treat it treat with the antibiotic okay not don't just imagine just just remember for your family don't tell that no need to treat no treatment nothing is needed just repeat the what you call um, urine analysis after one week or two weeks nothing like that treat it okay guys so thank you so much for watching this video take care